What's going on, you guys? My name is Winston P. Strategist. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And before we go any further, yes, this video is a real video that is not clickbait. I can show you how I made $2,000 a day on a local run and how you can do the same exact thing. All right. So stick around to the end of this video and we'll get right into it. Now, number one, let's deal with the elephant in the room. If you have somebody telling you that you can make $2,000 a day or make $2,000 on any load and go home, you have the right to be questioning that because it sounds really, really sketchy. But I'm going to break this down in a way where it's going to make perfect sense, okay? So right off the bat, when we're talking about the trucking industry, everybody does not haul the same exact thing, okay? You have dump trucks, you have belly dump trailers, you have oversized uh, step decks, double drop decks, you have land dolls, RGN trailers, dry van, reefer, flatbed, you have boat hauling trailers, and there are so many other trailers that I'm forgetting right now. The fact that everybody doesn't haul the same thing, they have no idea what these loads are paying on the other side of the fence. And also, we don't have any idea on how somebody's business is structured, okay? We could be talking about government contracting or just some special type of load. And besides that, the trucking industry can be a weird place. You're gonna run into really good people, but then at the same time, you can run into really bad people. The way I look at it is very simple. Where there's money, there's usually corruption. And the people that's doing most of the corruption has usually been here for a really, really long time. Look, no offense to the guys that's been in the industry for a really long time, but I usually have disagreements with people who've been hauling for 10, 15, 20 years, 25 years. They usually look at the things I'm saying as simply just crazy. These are the type of truckers who have been doing the same thing the same exact way and it has always worked. So when you have somebody with a different method than yours, typically they don't believe that it's real. Because I understand where they're coming from, I don't have any problem with it. Now, with that being said, the type of loads that I'm talking about where you can make this type of money with, most people are not doing it. And that's simply because we're talking about touch freight. If you're new to the trucking industry and you've never heard that term before, it simply means that you have to touch the freight, you have to offload it, or you may even have to load it. Companies typically like to pride themselves on a no touch freight type of basis. This means they can pull in more candidates because people do not like to touch freight. Now, for the ones that do, they typically make more money. For example, if you're familiar with the food industry, most of those drivers can average around $100,000 a year. These type of companies typically pay more because they know that nobody's going to drive a truck and have anything to do with touching freight if they're not making sense by making more money while they're doing it. Now, I made a video on this, and it's going viral on my Instagram. It's probably at 300,000 plays by now. Now, some of you guys watching this video may be following from Instagram or TikTok or something like that, but I'm going to play the video just so we can all be on the same page. All right, guys, now before I play the video, let's talk about why I made it in the first place. If you go back and watch my content, you will see that most of everything I put out is geared towards motivation. While getting a lot of likes, comments, and follows and going viral is really cool, I get more enjoyment in actually changing people's lives, whether they're following me or not. In fact, I've gained most of my following from TikTok and my page is not even monetized. Now, while I do have classes and eBooks and different things like that, if you go through my pages, you will rarely see me promote it. And the things that I do teach are geared towards people who are already in business. But let's get into the video. All right, so when I tell people that I can make $2,000 in a day and go home running local, let me show you exactly how I do it. Number one, you could do this with food. Number two, I'm hauling multi-stop touch freight. So sometimes I'm hitting seven stores in one day. I'm getting paid per stop plus the mileage, and I can knock this out in about eight hours. Now, before I even go any further, like just real quick, before I even go any further, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Most people do not want to do that. Think about what I just said. I'm hitting like seven stores per day, okay? And I'm getting paid per stop. You can clearly see that I'm using a pallet jack in the video. So every bit of money that I made on this load, I felt every bit of it, okay? This was a really difficult load and people know that because it's so difficult, they just don't want anything to do with it. So make sure when you're watching like the things that I'm putting out, Guys, listen to what I'm saying. This is not easy money, okay? This is very tough money. And I've been doing it for a while so I can do it quicker than the average person. But I've seen people try to do touch freight and it takes them a very, very long time or they just get really, really frustrated with it because there's so much things going on that they just don't want to do it at all. But let me continue rolling. 
Everybody hauls differently, but I like getting paid per load versus getting paid by the miles. For example, if you got a deadhead 50 miles to go pick up a load and your loaded miles is about 270, that's a total of 320 miles. Now let's say you're only getting $700 for a load like this. You're only getting $2.19 for that load. Let's say you're going 300 miles, but your truck is averaging seven miles per gallon. If you're paying about $3.80 per gallon for fuel, you're gonna need about 42 gallons. That's roughly about a $160 trip. But because I'm focused on local touch freight. Okay, so if you don't understand like what I'm talking about and what I'm doing right here, I'm comparing you know local versus OTR, okay? Most guys, like I said, do not like to even run local in the first place. I've only hauled local since I've been inside the trucking industry. I rarely, rarely, rarely leave my state, okay? So number one, I've gotten so accustomed to that. I, You know, I like going home. I have children. Um, I have three kids, by the way. So, you know, I didn't want to run a business that kept me away from see seeing my kids grow, you know, kept me away from just my wife and different things like that. So I wanted to make sure that I mastered my art. So I only, you know, sought out loads that could keep me in the city and I stumbled across touch freight and it pays more, but you just do a lot more work. Okay. So now when it comes to running OTR right now, what I've seen is that typically guys that's running, you know, all States or just regional or something like that, we're typically averaging out the same right about now. So where I can make, you know, five to about $7,000 a week locally Guys that's running OTR are typically doing the same exact numbers. And most of the people in the industry right now are typically feeling the same way. They want to come home and they don't like being over the road any longer. There's going to be a ton of people in the comment section agreeing like, yeah, I like coming home or I'm looking for something local. We're seeing this all of the time and it's getting really common. I'm not paying out as much money in fuel and I'm not having to go as far to haul my loads. When you're trying to make money locally, it's a certain way you got to do it. You can't be afraid to touch the freight. And keep in mind, I'm doing all this with a truck that I only pay $5,000 for. If I can do that, you can do the same thing. All right, so boom, the $5,000 truck. Okay, so a lot of people have asked me about this over and over and over again. Okay, let me break it down on this video. You can pay whatever you want to pay for a truck. If you want to go spend a hundred grand, you can go pay a hundred grand for a truck. If you want to pay zero to little, no money, you can pay zero to little, no money. You just have to know how to do it. When I first started my career in trucking, I started off working at Penske. I was washing trucks. Then I became a service writer at a small truck repair shop. So I saw how a truck repair shop would come across trucks. And a lot of times they would acquire trucks from owner operators. Maybe the owner operator didn't pay the bill and the truck was, you know, just taken from the owner operator by filing a mechanics lien or something like that. So typically mechanics get trucks, you know, a lot cheaper than just your average person looking to get inside of the business. So based on my background, I knew that I did not have to pay a whole lot of money to acquire a semi truck because I've always saw it differently than the average person. The most I've ever paid for a truck is $12,000. A lot of people seem to think because the truck is cheap, that means it's going to break down. And that's simply just not true. Brand new trucks break down all the time. Any veteran truck driver can tell you that older equipment can hold up very, very well. Now, if you want me to break this down, how you can find a truck for that cheap or anything like that, just comment down below and I'll make a video about it. Something else that I needed to deal with is that some people in the comment section was asking me to show proof. And here's my proof right here. Now, the reason why I don't really like to pull up my personal information when I haul loads is because if I'm doing business with a broker or a shipper directly and I'm sharing sensitive information and they come across it, my contract could be in jeopardy. So I don't really you know, like putting out things like that, but I had to blot out some of this information here because I'm actively still running for this company as we speak. OK, so like I said, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to do this yourself and I'm going to give you one company that you can go check and you may be able to get on with them and do your own thing. All right. So as you can see here, um, I like I said, I had to blur out some of this at the bottom, um, but I'm going to show you, you know, if you can see on the uh, I don't know if, if my uh, video is in the way, but this load is only one hundred and twenty one miles. OK, and that's round trip. Uh, that's another reason why uh, this is local, because you're not really going far. All right. Another thing is I did all seven stores. Let me try to back out um, of this a little bit so you can kind of see it. Um, let me uh, kind of move over here a little bit. All right. Boom. So um, 
if you if you look at my time stamp right here, uh, you can see that the load was picked up on the 14th, okay, at 2.15. Uh, that's the pickup time for, um, you know, where I'm pulling the trailer from because this is power only, okay? And I had seven stops, just like I said in the video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And I returned the trailer. Uh, I'm supposed to return the trailer back at that time slot, all right? And there is the rate that I uh, received on that load. And, you know, you can see my departure times and different things like that. Like I said, I, I needed to block out some of the sensitive information um, because, you know, I don't want to lose this, uh, what I have going on, guys. That's why I'm, I'm going to help you out by showing you how you can do this. I'm not the type to, uh, you know, brag on something. If I'm eating in some type of way and I'm telling you about it, I feel a little obligated to at least help you get started instead of just showing you, you know, what I'm doing without, you know, throwing you something as well. All right. So, that's my uh, rate con right there. And, you know, if you don't, uh, if you feel like, man, that's not enough, you know, we need to see more. I do have my invoices from factoring. Okay. Those have to be factored in and I use Thunder Funding. So comment down below if you feel like, hey, man, I need to see that too or something because I get that a lot. Um, and, I, and I do understand it. You know, I, I'm, I'm not expecting anybody that has never seen this stuff before that, you know, it sounds really sketchy or something like that to just automatically believe every word out of my mouth. You guys should stay like that because this is the trucking industry. You don't want nobody to get over on you or take advantage of you or sell you a dream or something like that. So I respect it. I also had a ton of people asking me about what type of calculator that I was using. I was using this calculator right here. It is something that I've actually been working on and it's going to be an app and I'm going to show you guys exactly how it works. All right. So you want to go to www.easygo.com and I made it free you know, for owner operators, because, you know, there's just, there's a lot of things going on. And the, the last thing you don't want to understand is numbers. And we talk about hauling cheap all the time, but nobody ever really stops to explain to you, you know, how to avoid hauling cheap. And this is how you do it. You got to know your numbers. Like, for example, you got to know your cost per mile, right? You got to know, you know, like say, let's just say, you know, you got your truck payment in there, your 2290, your place. And that's of course, if you have your own authority. Um, but you got to know what it's costing you to run in order to know what cheap freight means for your trucking company. OK, so that's what that calculator is designed for. Another thing uh, is negotiating your rates once you know your, uh, your 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 cents per mile. So, for example, let's just say you're picking up a load that's going 20 miles um, on the deadhead because, you know, a lot of people forget that deadhead. You cannot forget that deadhead. Um, that is super important. So I want to make sure I double down on that. You know, if you're a dispatcher or something like something like that, uh, don't send your truck too far to go pick up a load because nobody's paying for that except the carrier. Right. So let's just say that load is going, you know, uh, 300 miles. Uh, that's a total of 320 miles. And for example, let's say uh, you're getting fifteen hundred dollars for a load like that. Right. Um, that's four dollars and sixty nine cent per mile. Right about now, a load like that is going to be paying about uh, right at maybe a thousand dollars. Okay. So you want to use this tool to negotiate if a broker is giving you, uh, you know, $700 to do a load like that. And you know that your CPM is $2 and 19 cent, then you'll be running at a loss. So you always want to know your CPM so you can negotiate for higher. The, la uh, the last calculator is going to be the fuel cost per mile. Okay. So that same load going 320 miles, um, if your truck is averaging six miles per gallon, okay, and you're paying, you know, maybe $4 for diesel right now, I'm assuming that's what it is, then you know it's going to take you approximately 53 gallons to run that load. Um, and fuel is going to cost you, you know, approximately $2.13. And you're going to be running at 67 cents on your CPM. So that's what this calculator is designed to do. You also want to go over here to the uh, early access you know, you sign up and uh, make sure that you check off what you are. If you're a trucking company, you're a dispatcher, a service provider, a shipper or a broker, you'll be able to sign up. And um, that way, you know, it's kind of like a networking tool. So it's something really cool that um, I've been working on uh, with a development team and um, it's almost ready, guys. So you can go check it out. Like I said, that portion is free so you can use it and um, it will have some uh, other portions on there that you will have to subscribe to in order to use uh, those features. Like for example, um, there's gonna be uh, coaching on there and classes and different things like that. 
And, you know, you don't have to pay an arm and a leg to really learn how to do things. Like a lot of people want to know how to become a dispatcher. Well, this tool is going to show you how to do it um, for a little bit of nothing. Okay. So uh, that's if you want to use it for that uh, purpose. All right. So now let's jump right into it. I'm going to show you exactly uh, a company that you can check out. Uh, one guy said, man, you know, you're giving away too much information. You know, you're, you're saturating the industry. I don't like that because, you know, we were making way more money before you YouTubers and you, you know, internet truckers came out. Uh, guys, this, this is what I want to say about that because I get it. You know what I mean? You see someone putting out information, uh, getting ready to, you know, tell someone where you can make some money, right? Automatically, you would think that that's considered saturating the market or, you know, you, you're putting the secrets out and different things like that. But I just want you guys to keep this in mind, all right? You can tell, uh, you can you can show 2,000 people, you know, something. Let's say I make a video and 2,000 people see it, all right? Uh, only 1,000 of those people are going to listen. 500 of those people are going to take action. And maybe 250 people take it seriously. Let me say that again. 2,000 people are going to watch. 1,000 people are going to listen. 500 may take action, but only 250 people will take it serious enough to try to get it all the way to the end, all right? So when people are seeing videos out, believe it or not, most people just watch, listen. A lot of people might be skeptical, but only a small number of people actually take action based on the things that they see on a daily basis because you have so much information. Right after you watch my video, you can go watch someone else's video and, you know, be more excited about what they're telling you because, you know, content is becoming king or content is king. So there's a ton of information out there. And I do understand right now freight volume is low and you have a lot of truckers out there. So it may seem like, hey, you know, it's too many people that hopped in the game. But, you know, if you look up, you know, what's going on in the industry right now, a lot of people are just not able to afford to even, you know, own a trucking company in the first place. Uh, so this information uh, that I'm putting out, um, you know, hopefully it can help somebody because I'm going to show you. If you're looking to do this type of freight in the first place, I'm going to show you how uh, you can follow this system that I'm about to give you to try to land yourself a direct contract or to try to go down the rabbit hole to, you know, get a hold of uh, brokers that um, are basically brokering this type of freight. So let me give you one. I'm going to actually pull it up here in my notes. Um, I have it on my phone right here. Um, so, yeah, there we go. All right. So cool. So here's a company that I actually hauled for. And I'm going to tell you the story on this load right here. All right. So the name of the company is Cheney Brothers. OK, now on this particular load right here, I actually made twenty seven hundred dollars pulling their trailer uh, power only. But before you run off of that information, guys, watch this video to the very end because I'm giving you some gems. Uh, to be honest with you right now, this information that I'm giving you. You can go apply it tomorrow and make you some money, okay? And I'm not charging you anything to show you this. So, guys, this is a really, 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 like, serious thing that, because most people, you know, are not going to share this with you. But like I said, guys, thank me later. Go sign up for Easy Go and, you know, consider, you know, that us shaking hands. All right. So, boom. I actually ran a load for Cheney Brothers uh, using their trailer. I made $2,700, okay? Now, the first time I did did this load, I had a really terrible experience because I was supposed to do this load in a day. It took me three days. So that's a little over $900 per day. And I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, there's, you know, a ton of boxes on this trailer to offload at each stop. You know, I was going to the Sonics and I, you know, I was maybe doing, I don't know, uh, 70 boxes per store or something like that. And, um, you know, I, I had a hard time, you know, I'm 5'5", five, five, 140 pounds. So some of these boxes, man, are like 70 pounds and, and you're lifting a ton of them. So this is back breaking work. And like I said, you know, I felt every penny of this load I paid for it uh, with the hard work that I had to do. So that's the reason why a lot of people really don't know about this stuff, because, you know, who wants to do this in the first place now? Um, I had, I actually hired help, uh, on this load. So, you know, they wanted to give me about 2,400 for this load. And I said, Hey, I'm going to need 27. Uh, they gave it to me at 27. It took me three days. Um, and you know, I kept running with them until eventually I got a direct contract doing something completely different, 
But yes, this is the company right here where I started my journey with. And let me give you a system on exactly how you can do it, okay? If you look up the companies that are hauling food and different things like that, and uh, you want to start off by going there and talking to them face to face, okay? And even if they tell you, no, you know, we're not hiring carriers in or, you know, we're not doing business directly, you guys, you want to find out who the broker is. And if they say, hey, it's C.H. Robertson, call C.H. Robertson and say, hey, you know, I'm trying to find out which broker is hauling for, you know, Cheney Brothers, okay? And they know what's going on. So most likely they're going to be able to direct you to whoever's holding that account. And then, you know, you can start there and it may not work out for you at Cheney Brothers, okay? But you can do this with any food company out there. You know, a lot of times their trucks may be breaking down. Uh, they may have one owner operator they're working with. They may be working with a brokerage on the side. Um, it's, it's just a lot that you can do to, to go down a rabbit hole to land something like this, but it is very much possible. And, you know, like I said, I have to do a ton of different things in order for local to work out for me. That's exactly why I call myself Winston P strategist, because if this doesn't work, I'm going to find something else that does work. Now, currently I'm hauling a local heavy haul. So, you know, I swapped out the type of work. I like that work a lot better because, you know, I'm not dealing with a freezer and having to offload anything. But if I had to, yes, I would be doing this right now. And occasionally I do it. So the video that you guys were watching uh, where I was using the pallet jack, yes, that was very, very recent. But that broker does not call me all the time. But if they did, yeah, I'll, for that money, I'll probably be showing up every day. But they call me occasionally. So, you know, I kind of mix it up. And that was the whole point of why I said, you know, if you're trying to haul local, you got to be willing to do that. Now, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you got a ton of information that could possibly change your situation right now, guys, make sure you tap that screen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment. OK, it takes a lot of work in order for me to put these videos out because I am actively driving. I am a carrier and I do work, you know, all the time, guys. So it takes a lot out of me to do these videos. I would really appreciate if you guys do that because it inspires me to give you more information because it can help the algorithm. It can bring me exposure. And, you know, that's going to be a good thing in order for me to keep doing these videos. I'm going to link down in the description below easygomanager.com. You can play with it right away. Right now, it is just a web app, like I said, but it will be an app. So just sign up for the release. Also, I'm going to link down below roadreadyacademy.com. That is where I host most of my classes. I'm not trying to get you to buy a class or anything, but there could be some information on there that may be useful to you, like buying and selling in authorities. I also have an ebook about finding trucks at a cheaper deal. And, you know, if you don't feel like buying anything, I do understand. But if you want to email me, I'll talk to you. You know, I won't charge you to talk to you. I know a lot of people right now, you know, if you want to talk, they need a consultation. You got to book their time. Guys, I talk to people all the time. I'm a very approachable person. So don't be afraid to email me. Hey, man, I'm struggling. You know, could you point me in the right direction? I'll be glad to help you. Now, if you want me to stop and hold you by the hand and miss a couple of days of work, you know, that's a whole different story. 